Today is August the 1st, 2012, and I want to show you something here that I think you might find of interest for safety. This is a little Marshall amp, JTM 30, rated 30 watts, got a pair of 6L6s in it, 312 AX7s. It's been working on it, it's fixed, but I want to show you something that uh, I think uh, you should know. Well, right now I've got the uh, this meter clipped across the plate lead where the high voltage will show up, and it's cold. The tubes are cold, and uh, I want to show you a condition of where you can really get blasted, and, and you may not realize you've set yourself up for it. Suppose you've got it all hooked up, just like I have now, and then you turn it on, but you don't give it time to warm up. You just give it a second or two to warm up. I just jumped 11 volts. I have no idea why I did that. But that's not a problem. Maybe I didn't have a good connection. Anyway, our plate voltage is basically zero. Our power supplies are drained. And if we stick our fingers in there, it's not going to hurt us. But let's suppose you're doing something and you and you do this. You just, you, uh, you, you it's plugged in right now. You, you flip it on. And then you go, nah, never mind, I'm going to turn it right back off. Look what happened. Yeah. See where the plate voltage went instantly because it's a solid state power supply. And it's not going to drain. It's going to sit there for hours like that. We got 350 volts that happened instantly. Pretty scary, huh? And all I did was turn it on and off. It was on less than a second. I'll do it again because... Uh, on, off. Now we got we're sitting up there at 450 volts. It'll bite you hard. Now if I turn it on and let it warm all the way up, our voltage is soaring. But as soon as the uh, filaments of the uh, 6L6s warm up, the voltage starts to drop as the uh, as the load comes up on it. Actually, I'm driving it right now. Let's quit driving it. So that's what it's normally sitting at, say 420 to 450 volts. Now that the tubes are warmed up, you can see that they're lit right down in there. You can see the filaments. It's all lit up. Now that it's warmed up and I turn it off, see, I'm, I'm just operating the switches right here. I'm going to turn it off. See the voltage start to drop because the, the output tube is still conducting and it's draining the voltage. But unless you give the thing time to warm up before you turn it back off, if you turn it on even for a fraction of a second, that solid state power supply is gonna charge the, uh, the big power supply capacitors up to full voltage, even worse. They're gonna charge it up to the peak of the, of the sine wave. So you turn it on, turn it off, stick your hand in and get blasted and can't figure out how it come. That's how I come. So I hope this helps prevent someone from getting a really nasty shock out of a out of a vacuum tube amp.